We are committed to promoting safe driving through road and utility construction zones. So this year's campaign, we're targeting what we call the speeding losers um, to get them thinking about the true costs associated with speeding in road construction zones. So what do they lose, in fact, that ultimately makes them losers? There are three primary losses we want to remind these Alberta drivers about. The loss of money and the direct impact on their bank balance if they get a fine or damage their vehicle. The loss in the form of demerits on their driving record. And most importantly, the potential loss of life in our construction zones. Our goal is to ensure that all, the, all workers in Alberta can go home to their families at the end of every day. Earlier this year, the province increased fines that now can set a driver back anywhere from $150 to almost $1,000, $950. Many motorists complain they have to slow down even though that there are no work being done. But there's a good reason. You could have uneven pavement. You could have pavement with no markings, open excavations, and loose gravel that they may not see. We're here to remind all drivers again this year to give construction workers the room they need to do their work. An initiative like this is great because it raises awareness, it gets in people's, it gets in the grill of people. Um, what we really need to do here is change attitudes, driver behaviors. We can have all the law enforcement we want, we can have photo radar everywhere and we're, we're pro it's proven that yes we're raking in the dollars there but we're not, we don't seem to be slowing people down. So it's campaigns like this that raise awareness, that put it out in the public. We need to do more of this kind of thing. I want to thank the organizers, the Alberta government, all of you that are part of this to try to change the attitudes and behaviors of Edmontonians.